Hi, I'm Dave with Hans Grove Technical Services and in this video we're going to install a kitchen sink faucet. First step in the process after removing it from the box is installing the faucet into the uh, kitchen sink mounting hole. Yeah, one helpful hint to remember is to insert the black and green snap, snap connector first. <clears throat> then go with your hot and cold supply hoses. Then the long pull out. That way everything fits through the hole neat and easy. Then drop it all the way down. <clears throat> In this installation, I'm going to go ahead and use my gray spacer piece along with my uh, fiber washer, metal washer, and brass mounting ring, all the fixations. Same order here, black and green connector first. Hot and cold supply hoses next. And the long pull up. Once I get that snug, it's a good idea to go back up top just to make sure you got your faucet placed right where you want it. Yeah, snug it up the rest of the way, hand tight. You have these two stainless steel screws on that brass mounting ring. Tighten these two screws, it locks this ring in place. Next step in the process is to hook up your hot and cold supply lines. The hot one comes with a red band on it to indicate hot side. Helpful tip in this process is to hold this surface here with the pliers or another wrench the hose from twisting as you're tightening this nut here to the service stop. Otherwise the hose will unscrew from the faucet body. Same process on the cold side. And we have the long pull-out hose. Simple connection here, black and green snap connector. The male end of the long pull-out hose. Push it in until it clicks. Next step, <clears throat> have the white hose weight. You want to place this hose weight on the pull-out sprayer side of the hose about 8 to 10 inches above this loop, the bottom of the loop, so we like to call it. Number two folks head screwdriver here.
turn on your hot and cold supply lines and you'll turn it on and check for leaks. So you'll we'll make sure that your hot and cold supply hose is here dry. Before I actually turn on the faucet, I like to take the hand sprayer off and make sure I have the filter screen in hand. <clears throat> Just to make sure any loose debris that might have been in the service stop or in the supply lines doesn't get washed up into my faucet. Make sure we're all dry on the, on the underside and ready to go. And that's about all, all there is to it.